Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Q&A. I'm actually filming this two days before I leave for college, so yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get started. I guess I'll start by covering that. I can't remember if I included a question within the compilation I got about that, but if in case I didn't, either it will be in the video as a question addressed, or it'll be at the end of the video, what, how content in my life's going for, just a little update. So yeah. However, to start, uh, I'm not gonna address a particular person's question, but I might as well get this one out of the way, because this is easily the most asked question out of any of the questions in the q and I'm not actually a bear in real life, guys. I, I know, I'm sorry. I, I know, it it's been disappointing. I haven't shown my face in a while, so, you know, I, I get it. It's, it's just, it's just how it comes as a big shock. Okay, in all honesty, though, um, yes, I am transgender. Uh, it's been a big part of my personal life. However, I generally go unlabeled online, so I have a preference for she, her. However, I, I'm a, like I said, I'm unlabeled online, so really, you can call me whatever you want. I don't really care. The only reason I never made a big, super big deal out of it is mostly just because I just never really felt like it would impact the content, and I just never felt the need to address it. Uh, and there's not really much that it does change outside of a OC design change, and I guess you see paint on my nails now, which guys can wear nail polish, so it's like, I don't really know why that matters. I appreciate everyone that's been respectful about the whole thing and trying not to be, you know, again, rude or just generally distasteful. Uh, if for whatever reason you disapprove of it, I just ask that you be respectful and not try and make a big fuss out of things in the comments or wherever you go. But yeah, um, I guess on that note, let's get to the actual questions now. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, I very much appreciate all your kind messages in the comments during questions. However, I'm not gonna read those parts out and I'm just gonna read the actual questions so I don't have to, you know, waste a whole bunch of time. <laughs> Sorry, but thank you guys so much. This first question comes from Elise7616. Who inspired you to make content? So actually, one of my biggest inspirations uh, was the cute Mario Bros. They were the first plus channel I think I remember watching all the way back in like 2010. Uh, they made a lot of Mario plush videos, but they were usually my biggest inspiration. Uh, just, I always just thought their content was super funny, and I really loved their stuff. Um, there's obviously other people that have come and gone, and people that are I still actively watch. Um, I know SML is a huge one. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't watch their content when I was younger. Uh, Luigi fan quadruple zero one. Um, let me think. Super Dent Bros is actually the reason I made uh, my first video. They have not uploaded in ages, but they did a Christmas special giveaway back in 2012, and they're like, "Hey, make a cool Christmas video, and uh, we'll choose whoever wins, and we can give like we'll give away something." Um, however, I did not win, <laughs> but that was how I made my first Angry Birds Christmas special video, all the way back when I was eight. Jesus, I'm 18 now, so phew. But yeah, it was basically a lot of those guys. It was a lot of uh, plush tubers specifically, especially older ones. Um, I don't think I was particularly influenced by a FNAF plush tuber, mostly just because I was already a plush tuber before FNAF came out. So yeah, I just picked it up and that was just how it went. This next question comes from Eve 2008 Who do you main in Smash Bros? Uh, I generally cycle between about like five characters that I play. Um, usually it's between like Sonic, Banjo, King DDD, King K. Rool, and Wario. Those are usually the five I go with. And then there's a couple others that I like sprinkle in there. Um, Corrin's a big one I actually like playing. I actually really enjoy playing Corrin. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I like playing. Daisy's a fun one to play. It's been a while since I've played it, so I can't really think of all of them. But yeah, it's, it's generally about those few characters. Yeah, I don't really have a specific main though, but uh, yeah. This next question comes from the Thick Girl Megan. Nice username. Uh, are you currently in the making of more custom plushies? Uh, no, actually. Um, at the moment, I haven't made any new characters. Most of the characters I, if not all the characters actually I've made, were in the last plush collection video I uploaded. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot of those guys there. Uh, however, I haven't made any new ones. There are some in the plans, but not any I'm gonna make anytime soon. So yeah, not at the moment, but there's a couple I've got in mind. Here's two questions from Aiden Lopez 84 The first question is, do you uh, regret uploading a specific video? I don't believe there's a specific video. However, um, I think especially during the first season of FNAF, first two seasons of FNAF Plush, I think you can kind of tell that I was like 12 and 
the time period for certain jokes uh, wasn't particularly appropriate. Um, obviously, things are different now, but there's definitely some things that I think I would go back and definitely not have said. <laughs> I don't think it's anything too particularly bad, but I definitely don't think I should have said that some of the things I did. There's a couple videos that stick out in my brain, but I don't really want to glorify or anyone to go look for those videos. But yeah, yeah, I, I think there are certainly things in old videos that I would change about them. Um, Story-wise, I actually don't think very much. I actually like how a lot of it's come out, though I would probably try and make some things more clear. Uh, solving my lore is a little hard, but I think it's more you're on for the ride than trying to piece it together. That's just me, though. Next question is, what's my favorite P Disney slash Pixar film? Uh, Monsters, Inc. I love that movie. That is easily my favorite movie. I love the dynamic between Mike and Sully. They're so funny. I love the, the dynamic between uh, Sully and Boo. It's so cute. Mr. Waternoose is funny. I love Randall. They're just, they're just all great. The whole cast is awesome. The movie's hilarious. It's a very heartwarming movie. It's one I have a lot of good childhood memories with. That's, that's easily my favorite of the Pixar or Disney kind of lineup. These next two questions come from xlam one ty Plush. I think that's how you say that. What are some tips for some small YouTubers? Also, what editing software do you use? Um, if the I had any tips for small YouTubers, uh, it would probably be something along the lines of like, just do it to have fun. I think a lot of the headset that I think people get into is that they try to go into YouTube doing it to be successful or to make money. And I just don't think that's the way to do it. Because, like, yes, I've run into those two things, and they're obviously a blessing and something I really cherish and I'm very happy about. But it's not what it's about. It's about having fun and enjoying doing it. I, that, that would probably be the best motivator for me is that just go into it enjoying it because then you're gonna the motivation will naturally follow and if you get success then that will help i'm not gonna pretend like the success didn't help my motivation at times but i mean i saw you two years of youtube without any success and i uploaded pretty regularly and i just did it for fun i did it for fun and then you know it just kind of blossomed into something really nice but yeah i think if i had any major tips for you small youtubers in general just have fun just enjoy it and then maybe the success will follow you but you know it's a gamble anyway you, there's no there's definitely no trick way to do youtube it's kind of luck what editing software do you use um i currently use adobe premiere pro um obviously you know it's a little expensive it's like 21 22 dollars uh, a month excuse me a year it's even more than that obviously but yeah, about, about $22 a month, and usually I can afford that, obviously, because I make money off of YouTube, so it's able to, you know, keep that stable. Um, however, uh, I understand it's not something everyone can afford. Um, iMovie is a good starter if you're on mobile, and it's on PC, I believe, too. But um, if I had any recommendation for a mobile editing software, I would recommend VideoLeap. Um, it's a fantastic editing software. I used it a lot in, like, 2018, 2019, before I got my computer and I was able to start using Adobe Premiere. Um, however, a Video Leap is a very good substitute. Um, it's about $9 a month. Um, it's still obviously to pay for it, but it's not nearly as expensive as Premiere. And I think usually around Black Friday, they have a sale on it for a yearly subscription. And it's like $35, $36, and it's great. Um, but yeah, it's especially if you can afford it, it's a very, very good editing software. Use your allowance, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. It would be very it's very good for mobile. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, on computer I use Adobe Premiere. I will say for special effects, sometimes I do use external softwares. Like I will use Paint.net for photo editing, and uh, Blender 3D is how I do a lot of my 3D special effects, especially in like such as the Into the Fanverse episode. That a lot of those special effects were done in Blender, and then I placed them into you know composited it into Adobe Premiere. Oh yeah, I guess another particular thing I used, um, for the title card for Athens Pathogen, I made that in Adobe After Effects. So, yeah. Here's three questions from- oh, fuck. Um, I'm sorry, man, I'm not gonna try pronouncing your name. 777, uh, first question is, what happened to Invade the Plush Verse? Uh, this question actually came up a lot, which is obviously really nice, because, um, I wasn't really sure how many people really liked the series. However, however, it's not canceled or anything. Um, I have one episode currently filmed, and then I'm planning on uh, filming and releasing a movie. 
a series finale movie to wrap up the series. And I know you're probably like, what, it's over? But um, I think it's very much going to conclude the story. And I may come back to it just for some small, like, non-story related things. However, I have one more episode planned. I have that actually filmed. It's going to release later this year. And then next year, I'm going to release the movie. It's going to be called Shatter the Plushverse. And yeah, it'll be great. Hopefully a trailer will be up for it sometime in the first quarter of uh, 2024. Next question is, what was that unlisted You Found Me Golden Freddy video lore about? Was it an ARG? Because it's impossible to complete now since your first video got its comments disabled. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember. It likely had something to do with the ongoing lore with Golden Freddy um, throughout the series, which has kind of been his absence um, between, I think, season three and season five. Uh, there was a large absence of his character, and that was kind of probably with that ongoing lore about how he's been kind of sneaking in the shadows. Um, but yeah, uh, that's probably what it was. If not, it probably wasn't very important if I can't remember. But yeah, it's a dang shame. I honestly have been trying to, you know, get a lot of my super, super old videos comments re-enabled, but I think it's just because I was so young, YouTube just thinks it's for kids, like there's kids in it, which technically there was, because I was a kid at one point, but yeah. Yeah, it's a dang shame. And the last question is, are the current Cuphead videos a reboot of the original 2018-2019 series, or are they from the same canon? Uh, I would argue they are technically a new canon. However, um... Well, actually, no. No, I don't think so. Because the devil does reference, uh, the first episode of the, sh of the show. Um, it's kind of a soft reboot, because obviously I started using the Cuphead show voices, and I introduced Chalice into the series as a third character for the dynamic, and... Yeah, I would argue it's technically a part of the same canon, but it is sort of a soft reboot of the original series. Um, I apologize, there probably won't be any Cuphead videos for a while, but I do have a couple planned. Um, they will probably be towards the end, very, very end of the year and the uh, 2024. But yeah, I, I do have some planned. I apologize, that's probably not going to be any for quite a bit, but uh, stick around if you want to see some. Or actually, well, maybe don't stick around, but just keep in touch because you will, you, you will see him at some point again. This next question is from Daycare Attendant 104. Balloon Boy, where is JJ? Uh, she's in the scrapped video ideas pile. Um, I think if I remember, we tried making a custom plush of her and it didn't go so well. So we put that idea on pause, but I think maybe one day we'll come back to it and JJ will show up in the video. I'm pretty sure the one that it was was pretty lore heavy that he got mentioned, so yeah. I can't believe the first character oriented question was to you. Get the hell out of here. Ah! These next three questions are from Who Talked Me Into This? First question is thoughts on Bizabazow's plush videos. Uh, I actually really like her stuff. Her content's really nice. As someone who makes FNAF plushies just often, I think she does a really good job at capturing sort of like what I imagine Sanchi would do if they continued to have the FNAF license and they continue to make more plushies of the characters. Uh, yeah, I just think she does a great job. There are some designs I'm not super fond of, particularly her newest video. I think I'm starting to realize that she's over, she's kind of overusing the stitches, and I think it just looks a little cluttered. Other than that, though, I think she has the right idea, and I, 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 I fully support her. I love her videos. I think they're great. Um, honestly, though, give, give her other content a watch. Some of it's pretty good. I like the Mario Kart music videos. They're good. But yeah, overall, they're great, and I'll, I'll put up some of the designs that I love the most. These ones are so special to me, and I want them to be real so bad. Please. What FNAF Plus channels did you watch? Uh, I actually didn't watch a whole lot of FNAF Plus content myself. Um, obviously Froakie was a big one. Uh, I, I mean, I became friends with him because I watched his videos a lot and also just kind of learned about him, but honestly in the early days I did too. But yeah, uh, Froakie was a big one that I especially watched when he was uploading still. Um, the Super Warino Bros, the people I first collabed with back in, all the way back in season two. Uh, I love their FNAF Fable series, especially towards, like, the later half of it. It gets super high production value and really funny. It's very tightly written. I think the three of them are very talented. Uh, I know Dario works the most on the series, and I think I think they all do a fantastic job at ha capturing the characters that they have very well. I would seriously recommend giving it a watch. It's awesome. I think that's about it for me. However, every creator does their own thing. Everyone has their own ideas to bring to the table. Just because I don't watch somebody doesn't mean you can't. You know what I mean? Go, go, go find other stuff. Everyone's got some awesome stuff. But if I had to be honest, those are probably two of the main ones that I usually watch, if or watched in past tense. And lastly, some tips on making custom plushies. Um, well, I will say it's easiest to start with a base. So like if you're making something like Scrap Baby, just to start with a baby plush and just add things onto it. However, if you're making them from scratch, 
Um, I would recommend learning the shapes first. Uh, especially just like like especially if you're trying to imitate a FNAF plush, like the legs or the arms, you have to kind of learn the shapes um, and really get them down. Uh, also, I don't sew. Uh, this may come as a shock to some people. I don't sew any of my plushies. They're all made with just hot glue and felt. So I know that may not be smart to some people, but it looks good on camera, and I don't want to have to bother do the painstaking process of sewing. Uh, though I guess there are sewing machines for people who are into that kind of thing. But yeah, I would just generally try and learn how to cut your felt into shapes, form it, how it's gonna form when you like uh, unfold it and it's gonna look when it comes together. Uh, if you gotta try five or 10 times before you get it right, that's just how it's gonna be. But yeah, um, definitely felt, uh, you know, sew, sewing if you can. Hot glue is obviously a great thing. Felt glue works too, but I, I think I've tended hot glue. It tends to dry much faster and it works a lot better in my opinion. Um, obviously markers, if you don't have to use them, don't, but they are good for getting, like, certain textures like hair, other stuff like that. But yeah, it's really a practice you have to hone in on, and I think I got a head start, especially with making my plushies, because I, uh, made the paper plushies so long ago. That actually might be a good place to start if you've never even thought about making a plush, is make one out of paper. Just try to learn the shapes, because it is a similar process. Paper and tape, that's what it takes. This next one is from Dark Bonnie 07 Fan, or no, Dark Bonnie 87 Fan, my bad. Uh, will you ever make a Marvel plush series? This is an interesting question. You know, it's kind of odd. I've never seen a plush series really be adapted from anything other than video games, which I mean, I guess it makes sense because video games get a lot of plushies, but yeah, I don't know. It kind of sounds like a fun idea. I feel like taking a lot of the comic ideas or the MCU ideas and kind of combining them into like a Marvel plush series. Or even, like, DC would be fun, too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day. That seems, that does seem kind of fun, actually. These next three questions are from the Autism Express. Uh, first question is, favorite color fingernail paint that you have? Uh, I would definitely say the purple that I've got on my thumb. This is just one I wear the most consistently. However, I've definitely became, uh... Uh, more acquired to the multicolor kind of look if you compare them with any color uh, But yeah, the purple is definitely my favorite. It's like a lavender purple next question is thoughts on pizza tower. Um I've never played it However, I think I'm kind of biased because the internet memes on it. have kind of like Skewed my opinion and then there's a lot of people on Twitter and it's like it makes it like I look like a band game band kid game and it's just yeah, it it hasn't gotten the best reputation in my eyes. However, I do think the game's art style is very charming and it does look fairly fun. I might give it a try sometime. Like what you like, it looks neat. And the last question is, ever thought of making a random plush skit or maybe an entire series based around other indie games? Hello Neighbor, DDLC, etc. Um, I did uh, make a couple, I think I have an, a very, very old Hello Neighbor plush video. Um, and the, what's it called? Uh, I made a video called Indie Party where it was like, I took a bunch of random like indie games or like, you know, lower to, to uh, developer games and kind of put them all in a room and had like a little joke video. Um, obviously there's the Bendy and the Cuphead stuff. I've never really thought about making a series about Hello Neighbor or DDLC. I don't really know if there's a lot enough there for me personally to make it to a series. Um, but I don't know, maybe one day. Here's a question from Frostbear World. Why are you so cool? Oh, man just just cool you know just 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 cause just awesome throw the swag glasses on me yeah what about it here's a question from dizzy plush productions what fnaf plush tubers do you like the most uh well, i guess i kind of already answered this a little bit but uh obviously i said froki super warrior bros even if the warrior bros do make more than just fnaf videos i love their fnaf videos um i guess i can throw out the big hitters out there obviously like sly pie and gabe's world uh not all their contents for me, but they do have good attributes about them. I definitely can see people enjoying. Um, Swifty Plush Productions also comes to name. I, I know I've brought them up a couple times for their really good customs, but uh, I think that their their videos do seem fairly interesting. Uh, Phoenix Nugget. This one pop comes to mind a lot. I don't really watch their series episodes. However, uh, their music videos are really, really good. I love those a lot. Of course, I gotta mention, uh, Mari Muffet Adventures. Oh my god, yeah, I loved their videos back in the day. Um, and yeah, they're, they're really great. I mean, heck, if you've never seen them somehow, go watch all their videos. They're great. Um, they have great set design. All their sets are amazing. Uh, and I remember I got shouted out by them all the way back before they even made FNAF videos. It was crazy. 
Um, but yeah, I think it was like a November shout out video from like 2014, maybe 2013. I don't know if it was 2013. It might be a 2014. But yeah, it was, it was, it was definitely weird. Yeah, other than that, I can't really think of a whole lot off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there's definitely a lot of good ones out there. I would recommend giving a look. I mean, I know the YouTube algorithm is probably just going to recommend you like the same couple, but take a look. Do, do some deep diving. Here's three questions from Nendroid DDD8559. What do you think of the FNAF Funko plushies when they first came out? Um, I always liked the Sanchi ones more. The Funko ones just never particularly, like, interested me. Um, I mean, like, especially for Bonnie, Foxy, and Freddy, they were just worse versions of the Sanchi ones, so I always kind of liked the Sanchi ones more. Uh, Chica, I kind of had to buy, because the Sanchi Chica wasn't out yet when they came out. And then I eventually replaced her with the Sanchi Chica and Sanchi Golden Freddy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't too big fan. Funtime Foxy is obviously very nice to have, I love that one, it's very cute. Um, yeah, I just kind of thought they were worse Sanchi plushies. And then, obviously, the Wave 2 and 3 and all those ones came out, and there's completely different perspectives on all those, but, yeah. The, the first wave, I think, it definitely had mixed feelings for me. Oh my god, Shadow Freddy, though, in Toy Freddy. It was just so nice of making different characters. But those are the best ones. What made you want to do other plush series? Um, I don't know, I felt like it. <laughs> I mean, I started off with Angry Birds and Mario and Sonic, so it wasn't always a FNAF Plus channel, but, yeah, it just, it's just because what, it's whatever I feel like. It comes up and down, it comes in waves. FNAF Plus has just always been very consistent, but other series just kind of come along because I just, I like the idea. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't, and, you know, that's kind of my fault, but, eh, what can you do? And Toy Freddy, do you still play Fortnite? Uh, I'm not, like, an everyday player of Fortnite. Like, I'll play the new season when it comes out and, like, you know, play the Battle Pass, but, like, I don't know, man, I'm kind of burnt out. Like, Optimus Prime, he was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna play it. It's alright. Yeah. I'm liking that Lego leak though. Lego's gonna be cool. Lego Fortnite. Ooh, okay, bye, bye. Well yeah, there was his question. Here's two questions from Z Emperor. Uh one, to me. What is FNAF Plus Genesis? FNAF Plus Genesis is actually an origin series. It's a season zero to FNAF Plus. It's going to consist of five episodes, and they're all going to be released in the latter half of 2023. Well, I guess we're kind of already in the latter half of 2023. The latter quarter of 2023. There you go. But yeah, that series is super cool. I actually have filmed the entire thing, and I think it's really neat. Um, I don't think it's going to, like, spoon-feed you the lore, but it's going to give you a lot of context as to, like, the general kind of, like, mystery lore of what happened before the series, and kind of explain a lot of the setup for the first season. So, yeah, I think it's neat. I do plan on After Genesis Ends to kind of do a summary episode, uh, like, video of, like, all the outsider lore that you need to know to understand all the stuff that's in the actual videos, but... Yeah, just, uh, maybe like a game theory style video, but it's not a theory, it's just, it's just, it's just an explanation, because I, I made two videos. And two, to Spring Bonnie, what are your thoughts on Vanny? Oh, uh, Vanny, uh, well, she's, uh, she's a very, very good friend of mine. You know, uh, I've been with her for, uh, quite a while now on my own, and she's very how much helped me, you know, come into my own, you know? Uh, get to explore who I am as a person, which... This is very nice, you know, I, I like being around her a lot. I love going on adventures with her. I love being around her. Yeah, she's, she's just a great friend. A really, really, really great friend. Um, can I go now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Here's two questions from Austin the Red Dragon 9594 The first question, So I binge-watched some of your early season videos, and I kind of noticed that there was also someone helping out with you. Was that your brother? That was actually not my brother. That was my cousin Aiden. Um, he was in a lot of my lot of my early channel videos. Um, Pokemon plush we made together. You'll find him on pretty much in every episode of that. Um, he did the Sonic Colors videos with me. Uh, some of the early FNAF plush videos he helped out with. But FNAF plush became very quickly a personal product for me, which is why I kind of stopped making those episodes with him. And Especially as we got older, he kind of stopped seeming to engage as much with it. But again, my YouTube channel became a lot more personal for me, so that did not help either. Uh, however, yeah, he helped me out with a lot with those videos. But yeah, it was, they were very good. They were, they were, it, was, it was always very fun to you know make the videos with, and I appreciate his help a lot. His mark on the channel will be remembered. To Twisted Travis, what is your favorite hobby to do? If you have one at all, at least. 
Uh, well, oddly enough, I've gotten into a lot of arts and crafts and beauty-related stuff. Uh, it's just kind of been something that I've always thought about, especially once I've got a good look in the mirror and realized how disgustingly repulsive I was, like an eldritch horror. Um, I just, you know, I realized, you know, maybe if I'm ugly, I can make the world around me a little more beautiful. Damn, dude, that's, like, deeply profound. Thank you. Anyways, uh, thanks. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. These next three questions are from Pumpco Jacket. First question, what is your favorite group in your videos? Like the glam rocks, the toys, etc. Honestly, I kind of like them all equally. Um, though if I had to pick a favorite, it might be the Withers. I think it's just because that group is very fun. I love the dynamic I came up with them, kind of doing like an inverse of what the main classic gang was, where Bonnie was the smart one, and Freddy and Foxy and Chica were all stupid. Um, and then, you know, obviously when I added Golden Freddy, she was a little bit more intelligent also. And I think they just have a very fun dynamic getting to bounce off of each other, and I think I could probably put them in almost any comedic situation and people would find it funny. I mean, shit, it's why the Withered's videos always get the most views. Um, but I try to use them sparingly because I don't want to ruin that magic by using them too much. But yeah, I would probably say the Withered's. Next question is for Bonnie. Do a flip! Oh god, I'm being put on the spot. Um, if I die, tell Freddy and Chica and, uh, and Foxy and Golden Freddy that I love them. And, uh, I don't really know if anyone else is important in my life. But, you know, tell them I love them too. And, um, uh, I want, I want to be buried with sprinkles. Sprinkles? Like, like, you know how you put, like, styrofoam, like, packing peanuts in a box? I want to be, like, dapper with sprinkles. Alright, sure. Okay, I'm gonna do the flip now. <gasps> oh! That actually didn't hurt that bad. Okay. Oh, thank you. I, I had fun doing that. Okay, uh, third question. Who is your favorite character to voice act? Kind of hard to say. Um, again, it's kind of the thing where I like doing all of them because I love doing all the different unique voices for everyone. But I guess it would also probably boil down to my favorite characters that I like playing. So I would say, and like I guess also writing for. Um, Shadow Freddy has always been a favorite for mine, and Spring Bonnie. Can you tell that my favorite FNAF characters kind of align with the characters I like playing? Ooh, here's a recent one I love playing, the Mimic. Um, the voice I actually have for the Mimic is not super complex, but the voice effects I put over just I think makes it sound really badass, and I really love doing the Mimic. Um, but yeah, uh, probably him is a personal favorite for me right now. Ooh, and Glitch Trap. I like doing this voice. It's very fun. He's like sassy and scary and whoa, you didn't think the plushy toy could, could do this too, but yeah, because it's me, an extension of my body, my arm. Next one is from Phantom Puppet 1520, or actually next two. Do you get rid of your custom plushies when Funko finally makes that character? Uh, it depends. The Withers I don't plan on really getting rid of. I do plan on buying the Funko plushies of them, but I don't really plan on getting rid of the characters. I just haven't really had to run into that situation a whole lot where Funko makes a character after I make them. Uh, the Mediocres were one that that, that happened to, but they the, I don't even think I really ever used those customs in videos, so it didn't really matter. Um, but yeah, usually I'll just kind of either like keep it or I will replace it. But I haven't had, like I said, I haven't had to run into that very often. Shamrock Freddy was also one. Yeah, it, it, it depends on the quality of the custom if I like really put a lot of time and effort into it or like I didn't put a lot at all. Like that first Shamrock Freddy custom really I didn't put a lot of effort into so I didn't have a problem replacing it. But if it was something like Withered Freddy, I kind of think I might hold off because I, I, I think it holds a special place in my heart now. And the next question is, what's your favorite AR skin? Uh, Aeronaut Toy Freddy. That skin is my favorite. I love him. He's so silly looking and I love his like stupid mad scientist like steampunk appearance. It's cool. He's got a steampunk gun and it's so awesome. I love him. This next one is from FNAF Fan723. Kachika, I ate your family, Chica. Why? Why? That's not even a question. Oh god, I gotta call my mom. Dude. Not cool. Anyways, this next question is from Bobble17. How in the heckity heck do you come up with all the ideas for your videos, whether it's the plots or the base ideas in general? Normally before I start a video, I get a basic idea of how it's gonna run in my head. Uh, usually I have a much more scripted idea in my mind for how the lore and the story is going to go. However, a lot of jokes are actually improv 
Uh, usually I just try and think of whatever is relevant to the situation or whatever I can just add as a funny bit. Um, it's actually why a lot of the meme stuff is kind of lessened. Like, I don't really reference memes very often in my videos, unless it's, like, a direct reference to something, like, I'm using in the video, like, it's, like, Ban Ban or something. But yeah, a lot of it I just improv myself, um, especially, like, the comedy. That's, that's mostly improv. Uh, I will kind of plan the scene out in my head beforehand, but there are occasionally times where I'm in the middle of recording a scene and I think of a joke randomly while I'm saying it, so I just add it in. Uh, and it ends up being funny. And then, you know, if I delivered it kind of weird, I'll do another take. But yeah, a lot of it is improv, actually. And I think it's just something I've just, a skill I've required over time. And I've managed to add to the videos. Heck, sometimes I'll have an idea for a lore beat to go in a video. I'll film it. I won't really like how it turned out. And then I'll refilm it again a different way. And it'll turn out well. But yeah, it's just a lot of trial and error. And especially once you do it for so long, you kind of start to get a feel for it. And you have a lot less error. Yeah. Next question is from Crazy Hebra Gahams World 3408. Dang, I hate these new YouTube ad things. When will you bring back Angry Birds plush videos? It's been nearly two years since the last one. I really don't know. I made that last one so spontaneously that I don't know if I'm ever gonna make another one. But it was fun. I might do it one day. I really apologize if you're just an Angry Birds fan on my videos and you're just like desperately waiting for that second video. I'm really sorry. I got on that one Twitter account that tweets Angry Birds plush video clips, so that was cool. Next question is from MJ6415. Or next two. Do you plan on any more collaborations? Uh, not at the moment. I don't have any in my mind. Um, however, if I get an idea for one, I'll approach somebody, and if they get an idea for something, they can approach me. Two. How long does it take to make a video like the FNAF plush series? It varies, especially on length. If the video is lengthier, it's gonna take longer, but, um, I guess generally for, like, a 20-minute episode, it usually takes, like, two to three hours to film, and then, uh, if, you know, it's a, like, more complicated episode where it's got more stuff in it, it's like 30, 40 minutes, it'll take a couple more hours, you know. And then editing, again, the editing depends on the complexity of the video. If it's like a super complex video with a bunch of fight scenes and a bunch of cool special effects, it's gonna take a lot longer to edit. It's probably gonna take more like five to six hours. But you know, if it's like a video that's just like kind of a simple dumb video with a couple jokes, some sound effects, some music, it might only take like three hours to edit, two, three hours. But yeah, I would say my general, like general, if I had to give like my average videos, if I had to give a general time slot to finish them, it takes like about six to 10 hours per video. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Next question is from Sonic Plushie 56 what is the best video you've ever made? Well, my magnum opus at the moment is like Afton's Pathogen, that whole movie. I just, I had a blast making it. I think the story is really cool. Um, it's five hours, so you know, it's kind of a lengthy one. It's like Snyder Cut level what, length, which is probably my only complaint with it. It's just a little long, but I had to fit a lot of stuff in it, which is why it is so long. But yeah, I feel like there's not really a wasted scene in there. It kind of is meant to develop everyone that's relevant. But if I had to go on individual video basis, Thing is with my stuff is I feel like it gets better and better as it goes, so I feel like it's kind of undetermined what my best video is. So it's like, I don't know. I think season six is my favorite season at the moment, just because again, it's got the best stuff I feel like in it, but I don't know. There are standout episodes from every season. Next question is from Charlie Play 68553. What is your favorite food? It's between pizza or steak. They're both very, very good. I, I love steak, it tastes great, it's awesome. And pizza is awesome. I think, like, pizza is the default favorite food just because it's just, like, there's so much stuff to do with it and it tastes great every time. Uh, unless you really screw up a pizza, but it's, like, man, it's kind of hard to do that. Here's a question from Optimus FNAF 6172. Uh, hey, to the Glamrocks, do you think there's another world out there where Burn Trap slash Glitch Trap won and your world would be in ruin? Um... Well, I sure as hell hope not. Because that would be not good. You know, with that whole multiverse storyline that we were, were doing, that that's a very real possibility. Shit, there's probably a lot of dimensions where we lost. I don't, I don't want to think about that. Well, let's just be happy we live in the one where we didn't. All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, bye, guys. Yeah, that was, yeah, okay, bye. I think he kind of gave some of them an existential crisis. And whatever, all the glam rocks are kind of traumatized anyway, they'll be fine. This next question is from Mega Shark Gaming 2. Question for Golden Freddy. Where was he for half of season five? What happened? And also, is he going to be in the videos with the others? 
Oh, uh, yeah, um, I just kind of ran away. Glitchtrap's scary, especially because he's my dad. He just, I don't like him. But, you know, I'm back with my friends again. I don't think you've been watching season six if you haven't realized that. Here, here's a couple episodes where I'm in it with all the glam, the, the glam rock, the classics. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay. Bye. Thank you. Man, some of these guys are so polite. Here's another question from Super G Bros. Will we see the next episode of Bendy and the Dark Revival? Um... I don't know. I feel bad because I did kind of enjoy making that series, but the second episode was kind of a slog and it didn't really do all that well. So a lot of my motivation kind of tanked for that, and I just have so many more ideas for so many different things for FNAF Plush and like other stuff I can make the Plush for, so it's just like, it didn't really work out. I might come back to it one day, but I'm not gonna guarantee that. This next question is from Mason Plush Show 5756. What is one project that you were most proud of making? Dowen. Dowen. Oh, and D's. D's also. I'll, I'll put, up a, put up a couple of videos. That one I like a lot. That one's really good. I like that one. Here are two questions from Aiden's Imagination. One, five, four, one. There were three, but I'm not answering the third one because I already answered it. What are your plans for your future self and your YouTube channel? Currently, I'm about to go attend college, and yeah, I'm going to be studying in art and film and a bunch of different other stuff that I'm really excited to go do. But uh, for the first semester, I've recorded a bunch, pre-recorded like almost like 15 videos uh, that I'm going to upload throughout throughout the semester, and my upload schedule is going to look something like this. But yeah, so bi-weekly-ish, and then there's going to be like a funny video sprinkled in there, like just an extra little something. But yeah, that's kind of it. And you know, I'll make YouTube as long as I want to. That's gonna be it. There's no concrete answer anymore. I'm just gonna do it when I want to. And hopefully I'll keep coming back. But you know, I, I still have so many ideas in my brain. I don't know what's going on. Like I remember there was a period where I just couldn't think of anything, but now I, just, I keep thinking of ideas and I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of want to stop. But you know, I think when there are times where my career in the future gets in the way of like my brain and my creativity, I always want to use this channel as a creative outlet to express myself, so you'll probably be seeing stuff on here for the rest of my life, but maybe not always frequently. We'll see. Will there be a point where you feel like the FNAF Plush series will end at some point, or will you still be continuing the series when the new FNAF Plush game, or the new FNAF games get released? Yes. Season 6 is the last one. Okay, kind of hard to say. I don't think I can escalate the story anymore. This is kind of it. Like, I think I've gotten to a point where I can't really escalate the story anymore unless some, like, crazy thing happens. But then again, I said that about season five. I don't know. This just feels like the penultimate conclusion of a lot of what was left over from season five and also just the stuff that's been built up throughout the series in general. Um, I'm loving the fanverse arc. The stuff with the Mimic I've been enjoying a lot and their, like, little trio. Um, I, I like it. But I think this is going to be it. Uh, I'm gonna probably still make FNAF Plush episodes that aren't really, like, story canon, but, yeah, I think this might be it. I think this is gonna be the last one, at least for the chronological series. Um, I might reboot it and make a new FNAF Plush series. Uh, I've kind of got an idea I might pitch. Don't, I'm not promising this is gonna happen, but an idea I had for a series was one where I do a FNAF Plus series based on the Aftons and the humans and the FNAF world, and it's gonna be more closely tied to FNAF lore, and it's gonna be like a little like sitcom style, funny, goofy adventures of those guys, maybe with throwing some like mad scientist children murder in there, and it's gonna be funny. But we'll see, I don't know. Maybe that'll happen, maybe it won't. But you know, just throwing that out there for fun. Here's two questions from G-Man Studios 11905. Question. What was your favorite kid show growing up? Okay, so I think it was split between Blue's Clues and the Backyard again. So both those shows are just mwah, peak. Um, I guess those are more toddler shows. I think like kid stuff. Like I'm thinking like baby. The thing is, for me, I got access to the internet when I was five. Thankfully, I was responsible with it, but not everybody is. Um, but so I kind of just started watching YouTube when I got past like toddler age where I watched a lot of like my toddler shows on my TV so 
I mean, I like, uh, I liked Looney Tunes a lot. That was something I watched a lot on TV, even after I discovered YouTube. Um, the video game stuff, like the Curb, Curb Your Right Back at you, Sonic X, that was a lot of stuff I watched. Uh, yeah. That was kind of it. But yeah, I guess, like, my, my biggest, closest connection to TV was, was when I was, like, a baby. And I watched baby shows. But yeah, it was probably between Blue's Clues and, um, Backyard Against. Also, Bear in the Big Blue House. I know there's probably not going to be and as many people nowadays that get that because I owned it on VHS, which is crazy because I think, like, give it a year and those weren't made anymore. I mean, like, a year after I was born, but yeah. Uh, what was the most fun you had working on a video? Um, I don't know. I can't really remember. I mean... I don't want to cite the Athens pathogen again, but I did I did enjoy making that, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. How were you introduced to Finance of Freddy's? Markiplier. Like a lot of people. Yeah, the first FNAF video I saw was Markiplier's. I was actually already a fan of Markiplier before he even made FNAF videos. I watched a lot of his amnesia videos and M Drunk Minecraft, um, Gmod stuff he did here and there. Uh, yeah, I was already a fan of his, of his, of his content before he did, um, he did FNAF stuff, and then I just saw Markiplier uploaded Final Fantasy Freddy's Scary Game Years, I'm like, that looks cool, click on it, it's great, it's hilarious, it was awesome, and that was when I, yeah, that was how I discovered it, it was like, the day he uploaded it, I think I discovered it, uh, but yeah, that was the start of something pretty, 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 pretty long-standing in my mind. Here's three questions from Joshua's official channel. Uh, first question, when did you start your channel? That was all the way back in the ye old days of December 4th, 2012. Uh, yeah. Over 10 years ago, I started making these silly little YouTube videos where I waved dolls in, in the air, but yeah. All the way back then. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Question two, what's your favorite film? Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That is my favorite movie, ever. Uh, I love animation, I think it's funny, it's heartfelt, it's nice, it's a great, great movie. Um, I know a lot of people are like, why not the second one? I love that movie, but Into the Spider-Verse feels like the more complete movie, which gives it a slight edge for me. So yeah, I, I would say that's my favorite movie, Into the Spider-Verse. It's a fantastic movie, I love it. Yeah. Three, who's your favorite celebrity? Jack Black. I mean, come on, man. Here's a question from GG Pug Smilo 8430. What's your favorite custom plushie related to FNAF? Nah, I, I, I would say Big Afton Amalgamation, but that's the default. I can't say that. Otherwise, I'll grab a couple. These three. I'm gonna go with these three. Okay, you guys can get out of here now. I can make them lifeless dolls and I want to. I'm in control. These next are from channel 87. Oh my god, you made these like a paragraph. Let me summarize. First question is, do you kind of feel that the popularity of your first season of FNAF Plush is kind of a curse on the rest of it? Uh, a little? I wish people stopped commenting like, why'd you add lore? Why aren't you as funny anymore? But like, other than that, no. I mean, this is why people started watching it, so I can't really like say it's like a bad thing but like i kind of get it but then again i guess you know i'm i'm making what i enjoy so screw it if you don't like it whatever just don't watch it i guess i can't do the same thing forever i wish i was a prepubescent teenager that screamed in three things at the wall but that's not that's not me anymore guys okay this one's kind of about scripting which i kind of already answered but uh no i don't i don't really prepare scripts it's just mostly improv but i also do generally plan out the idea in my head before i make a video and the last one how do you plan deaths in your series uh, it usually just comes down to how I want to write it. Um, I think before, like, season four, it kind of, it kind of was, like, mostly, like, spitballed. But, yeah, it's usually just because if the narrative calls for it, or I feel like the character has served their purpose, it usually just kind of, kind of clicks into place. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do plan on killing characters when I make them, like, um, Gregory was kind of always planned to die in the movie. 
but yeah, so sorry guys. I know I killed the child, but you know he he was he made a noble sacrifice. It doesn't matter. Oh man, I want to do the whole role reversal of like Freddy saves Gregory and dies, but it's like Gregory saves Freddy and he dies, and it's like a, it's it's like it's a spin on it. Yeah. Here's two questions from Rockstar Red Bear 146. Question one: Why mimic? Why? I suppose that is an oddly perplexing question, but also not a very specific nor a helpful question. Why? Yes, I suppose I should refute your question with an equally unhelpful answer. Why not? Thanks, man. Anyways, another one's to Pop Goes. Do you know you're being watched by us right now? Oh, uh. I mean, yes. When I was asked this question, I, I was told that this was for a question and answer by the people watching us, so... Yes, I suppose I did. I, I do know you're watching me, so... Hi! Um, it's a little weird to consciously know that, but, yeah. Stop watching us, you weirdos. <laughs> don't listen to him, please keep watching the video. I don't even get to say anything. Last one's to Roxy. Why don't you stop being shy and ask out Chica? Uh, I will have you know, Buster, that... Our relationship is entirely platonic. Uh, I do not have romantic feelings for Chica. However, I do get very happy when she calls me pretty, and that that will be that will be the end of that argument. What? Why did I put this in here? I already answered this question. Well, thank you for the question anyway. Here's a question from Plushy Tail. I suppose I'm still zoomed in. To Freddy, how do you support your friends financially? Well, you see, this was actually a very long, uh, very long, complicated, drawn-out plan uh, that I initiated back around 2015-ish, uh, into, into, like, uh, like early 2016, lasted about two years, where I personally took down the IRS themselves from the inside out. So, you know, I can just, like, have money, and I don't have to worry about it. Don't tell them that, though, because then they'll, like, start, like, spending more of it, and it's, like... I don't- I don't want him to do that. It's my money, man. Don't- don't do that. I don't care that I got infinite amounts of it. I have as much as the plot calls for. No, usually. So, yeah. The police won't find this vid- this footage, will they? I don't think so. Okay, good. This next question is from Carson's Plushy Palooza. How many episodes will there be for season six? Currently, I'm not sure. However, normally I do aim for about 30 episodes in a season. Uh, 25 to 30 episodes per season. However, this time around, I really don't know. I actually think it's going to run much longer than the typical 30 episodes. So, yeah. It's also because I have two storylines going on, so it kind of is going to take longer to finish each of them. I guess if I had to give a rough estimate, I would probably say about 40 episodes. Maybe more. Maybe a little less. I really don't know. Here is a qu two questions from Bubster7514. Uh, for Spring Bonnie. Can I see you do a flip? Oh, hi, I'm back again. Um, hello. Uh, I apologize, Bubster, but I don't know how to do a flip. Uh, I'm really sorry. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. I'll help you. Wait, 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 no, stop! Ah! Oh! Uh, oh. Wasn't that fun? Not really. No. Well, there you go, Bubster. I did your question for you. Uh, thank you. We're gonna go now. Okay. Uh... For Travis from Plushverse, can Abigail still turn into her bird form? Uh, hey, I'm here. Why are you staring at me? Anyways, uh, yeah, um, uh, Abby, come in here. Hi, um, hi, uh, so yeah, bird form, right? Um, yeah, uh, well, the thing is, I can't really turn into it. I never really could. <laughs> um, it's more like my soul, like, leaves my body and goes into the bird and then comes back. It's some weird- How did you Mr. Patino Man describe it? I don't know. It was like some weird soul conscience transference thing. But yeah, that- She can't really turn into it, so... Yes, and no. But yeah, I mean, I can still become the bird. I, I guess I can go grab it real quick. <laughs> hey, what's up? So, am I cool or what? Okay, we're gonna go now. Ah! Okay, bye! Oh god! Ah! From Orange Soda, one, two, six. Hey, 
Will you ever make a Sonic video or have Sonic in a video? Uh, yes, actually. Um, you can go see the very, very old Sonic videos on my channel. Uh, there's Sonic Colors, which is like a super old series that I made when I was very young. Um, but not counting that, uh, Sonic was in the Arcade Mayhem episode of FNAF Plush, and I made a Sonic Plush episode back in April, I believe? So yeah, go watch that. That was fun. Um, again, I would like to make more of those, but you probably won't see them for a while. Sorry, just the way my content filming schedule came out for the summer, I just couldn't fit it in, but yeah, I do want to do more of those, so hopefully in 2024. So yeah. Hi, this next one is from Glitch13201. Will we see more fan game characters during Spring Traps Little Adventure? Yes, yes you will. Go watch the FNAF merch collection video that I uploaded or last the other week. Go watch that. That will pretty much feature almost every character that's going to show up. So, I mean, I guess don't watch it if you don't want to get spoiled, but... Do watch it if you do, so, yeah. It's cool, you'll see most, I mean, there's definitely, I think there'll be a couple more that I don't have in that video, but that's all the ones that are major, I think, so yeah. Here's two questions from the Not-So-Speed Editor. Question one, when will the season two marathon come out? Uh, whenever I feel like it, really. I mean, those videos aren't super hard to make, so it's very good for if I need, like, filler content to just slap in a week or whenever I need to upload. Um, but yeah, I will make it soon. I hope to have all of the marathons out before the end of season six. So they'll kind of come out gradually and then the season six marathon will come out at the end of that. Question two, what's your video you've ever made? Oh yeah, I kind of already answered this, that I don't really have one. My bad, I guess that was only one question. I didn't want to like take out people's questions if they, or I already answered one of them, if the second one was interesting enough for me to put it. Also, I guess I should have mentioned this, not everyone's question's gonna be in this video, cause one, some of them I just didn't want to answer, and two, I also, some of the, a lot of them were repeats, so I only really put one, but you'll, I imagine you'll be satisfied anyway because you got your question answered, just somebody else asked it. Here's two questions from Bonnie P P P P P P P P Did you ever want to make a Fighting at Freddy's Posh film or series based on the game's lore? I actually told you about the series I was talking about earlier, the Afton Family one. That might happen, but yes. So yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, question: Who's your favorite character in your in your series? Um, between. Hmm. Springtrap, Vanny, Spring Bonnie, and Shadow Freddy. Those are my favorites. Not in any particular order, but those are my favorites. And Egg Baby is really funny too. Here's one question from Salt and Vinegar 5250 because I already answered the other two. Uh, what's your opinion on Undertale slash Deltarune? Very long time ago, back when I still made paper plushies, I made a episode one of Undertale plush and I never made episode two. But yeah, um, I like it. I think it's great. I think the game's fun, or well, okay, maybe the first one's not like super fun, but Deltarune's very fun gameplay wise. But story, I like them both. I think they're both really cool. Uh, I enjoy seeing the little characters and the little story, and I like them. They're very good games, I think. Tobias Fox did a pretty good job. Yeah. Here's one from T-Rex Tamer. Have you ever thought of making sets for your videos, like Goonzilla and such? Goonzilla is a good channel, by the way. Go watch them. I watched them a lot when I was younger. But yes, I have. I, I do make little pseudo sets. Like, I made one for the Mimic episode. Um, uh, the FNAF... The Toy Bonnie's Chip Tooth, I remember I made a decent little set for a kid's cove, I thought that was cute. Um, oh, and Glitch Traps Halloween Havoc. That, I think, is one of the few videos where I have an actual, actual set that I made for the video, like a dining table set. Um, but yeah, I, I've always wanted to. I just never really had the space for it, so it was always hard. But yeah, I've always, I've always thought about it. It just sucks that I don't really have the resources to do that, which stinks, but eh, what can you do? Here's a question from Freddy Pie 8881 Will there be a movie about the Blob or the Glamrock's past? Um, so the Blob is actually a character a lot of people bring up, oddly enough. Uh, I'm not putting the Blob in videos, mostly because the Afton amalgamation basically served the same purpose that I would have put them in the videos for. Um, I kind of combined them into one character for, for that specific movie. So I apologize if you're like number one Blob fan, but yeah, he's kind of not going to show up. So I'm sorry. But as for the Glamrock's past, uh, there are individual episodes that cover their past, um, and it does get brought up here and there. Uh, however, 
Uh, one character I have not yet covered is Chica. And I am making a video that has her past in it. So you will get to learn her story. I know that's something everyone brought up. I think a couple people brought up. Like, why do you think you never do episode of Chica? Because I've been waiting. I haven't, but I actually found a way to work it into a video. And it's really cool, so I'm excited. Get excited. I'm I was referencing her earlier. Um, I'm not going to say this person's name. Because I don't want people, like, sending hate to them. But this is the why did you add story. Because I felt like it. I thought it was neat, and I wanted to make my series more interesting. I'm sorry if you bo it bothers you. Don't watch it. There are plenty of episodes that don't have any story in them. If you want to watch them, go watch them. You don't have to engage in the story if you don't want to. Yeah. Also, another thing I want to argue about. This series has had a story since episode damn three. That has started the ongoing narrative. That was the very start of the ongoing narrative was episode three. I don't know why you're acting like there hasn't been a story in the series ever. There has always been an ongoing narrative. It just never was as deep or dark as, like, back then. It got darker, but it's always been. The, the, the lore in Genesis will reference back to the very first episode. You will see that referenced at some point. Here's a question from Ugas Pukums. Ugas Pukums? 5654. I have but one question. Will Endo 01 and Endo 02 ever appear in the FNAF Plus series? Here's a funny thing. They have. All the way back during my five part season two movie, uh, the Endo 01 and Endo 02 were both major characters in that series. Uh, that series has effectively been, that, that was kind of an alternate timeline movie though. So they have effectively been like, there are roles in that movie have effectively been erased. However, yes, they were char central characters in that five part series, The Prophecy. If you remember but yeah they're pretty central characters back then and if you want to go watch their stories watch them however i did bring back nightmare so never you know you never know i may bring back those two because they were also he was also from that movie nightmare was from that movie but yeah i mean the characters are definitely still around they just haven't technically interacted with the rest of the cast since that period so yeah oh and i guess technically scorch also counts because he was just an endoskeleton before he got like melted down in like a vat of like goo and then he became ugly trash pile monster but yeah technically he was also endo too fnaf girl 8874 asks are you continuing the dark rearrival no yeah it was also just kind of those like very spontaneous ideas that i just like made for fun like let's see where it goes and then i didn't want to make episode two but i had fun making that first episode um I want to say, I, I don't know, I really want to say I might come back to it, but I really don't think I'm going to, so I'm sorry. I think I even at some point changed the title and just named it The Dark Rearrival instead of The Dark Rearrival Episode 1 because I didn't want to keep gaslighting people and thinking it was going to be an Episode 2. So, um, I'm sorry, but yeah. Better luck next time, I guess. Here's a question from EC1SEPSAYT. I'm going to go with that. What person are your thoughts on the FNAF trailer? I think I seen for the movie. It's great. It was really good. I'm really excited. It looks super cool. I like the cast. I like the movie. I think it looks great. The animatronics look really cool. The red eyes kind of bug me a little bit, but also not really. And there tends to be, they might be getting rid of them. They might not be. I don't really care. I'm still excited for the FNAF movie. It was a decent trailer. And if it really is three hours, I like that it didn't show too much because I hate when trailers do that. When trailers show the entire movie before you even see it. I hate when they do that. Stop doing that. Uh. Also, will you make more videos based around the FNAF 2 gang? Uh, there you go. There, there was one I just uploaded. I think this comment was before this video uploaded. But yeah, Golden Toy Freddy, go watch that one. That, that had them in it. And it was actually really good. I think that's one of my favorite videos as of recent. So, yeah. Go, go watch. It was good. I also kind of already answered these. Uh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Shane's Plush Production 7786. I don't know why I put your question in this folder if I already answered them. Here is a question from Kana31 underscore 3. How was school? And did you make any friends there? And are they sub to your channel? Uh, had its ups and downs. I generally enjoyed the experience, though. I mean, I'm graduated now, but I also am going to college, so it's technically not over yet. But yeah, it's it fine. I had a good time. I really enjoyed all the friends I met. They were all very good people, and I, I love them. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, some of them are. I, I guess that kind of answers the second question. Yeah, they are subbed to my channel, so. Hi, guys. If you're, if you're, oh, camera's gonna die. Hi, guys. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. Ha, opinion on the hottest dog in Derby R4. Uh, I'm envious of them for making really long form animated content because I want to do that one day and ah, I don't have motivation or time because I make these plush videos. But now, yeah, um, their, their long form animated content's great and yeah, they're cool. You guys are cool. Anyways, I know you probably already said this in the video, but how old are you now? I am 18 years old and turning 19 this October. So yeah, October 2023, I will be 19 years old. <sighs> I'm getting old. I'm, my buttons are withering. Ah, no, I can't hold the plushie anymore, and the camera's gonna. Oh, shit. So, my iPad's gonna die if I don't do this, but, uh, yeah. Uh, here, get ready for this weird cell angle for the rest of the video. Here's a question from uh, Ian, the worst of VY4ES. Have you ever considered getting more people to work uh, with the videos you want in the videos? Uh, yes, I have. I have thought about it, but. I think it's just the creative control thing. I know a lot of solo content creators will talk about this too. It's that like grip that you have that you know everything's gonna go the way you want it to. And even if the people that you're handing it off to aren't gonna do a bad job, it's just not your job. So it scares you. But yeah, I have thought about it. Here's some questions from Expert Vods. Hi, Expert. Uh, right now, I'm trying to order a chicken sandwich combo from Wingstop. For the drink, should I get Coke or iced tea? I don't know, man. Get Coke. I, I don't really like iced tea from, like, places besides homemade, so go go get a Coke. You probably already ordered it by now. Um, what's your favorite Luigi fan video? Oh, God. Uh, that's a good question. Angry Birds Go series always sticks out in my mind. Oh, my God. I just realized how weird this angle in my hand is. Um, the Angry Birds Go videos always stick out in my mind. Those ones are, like, my favorite. I think of my best of Luigi fan videos. Uh, PVC videos are great. Um... Yeah, I don't really know if there's a specific one. I love them all. Angry Birds bosses, if you're an OG, you remember Angry Birds bosses. That, 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 that story went hard. Oh, I found one that stuck out of my mind. I think it's Bubbles' birthday. I'll find it. Someone where uh, Chef Pig sings uh, happy birthday in French at the start of it. That one, that one is a good one I like a lot. Uh, another favorite video question. I don't know, just throw one up. That one's my favorite. Here's a question from Ralphie SB 2766 Hi, SB. Do you play My Singing Monsters and are planning on making videos of My Singing Monster Buddies videos? Um, I do play it. Here we go, here's one. The f*** did you say? That was episode one. Did you feed your quibble on Tribal Island this week? Shit! Okay, I did it. Here's a question from Solar Neptune Stars 1657. Hey, what was your best year of filmmaking? Uh, this year. Probably. This year, I'm gonna be honest. They always kind of just get better every year, so this year. And it might be next year, next year. I don't know. Here's a question from Puppet Crazy Gang 9398. Will Springtraps Gang eat the other FNAF fanverse animatronics? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Hey, they're going to go save Candy and Pop Goes Family, so yes, they're going to. I mean, if they didn't, I think the series would be over pretty quick. Here's a que two questions from Abby Brown 8644 What is Eclipse going to do in the future? Let's get him answer that. Hey, so I want to get my powers back. That's a big thing. Um, kill Glamrock Freddy for embarrassing me. Uh, I want to, like, crucify Sundrop and Moondrop and the Sunrise Moon, whatever the hell their names are. Uh, they suck too. I hate all of them, and I want to throw eggs at their house. So, yeah. They suck. Boo. If you're Team Eclipse, thank you. I love you. Um, this is the... I guess you can also like my other friends, too. They're, they're, they're okay, I guess. What does it feel to do school and try to make videos at the exact same time? It's hard! I'm not gonna pretend like that was easy. Uh, it was definitely a very difficult struggle to do a work-life balance. But I did it. Um, I'm not gonna pretend I didn't have fun, either. There, obviously, I had fun. I wouldn't do it if I didn't have fun doing it. But it was difficult. It was definitely difficult. But, you know, I pushed through it. I did it. I'm here. Here's a question from Freddy Faz Plus Studios or two. What is your favorite you have made currently? That's a really good question. My favorite is, uh, that one. What's Popko's favorite type of tea? Ooh, my favorite tea. I love herbal teas. Herbal teas are my favorite. Those ones are great. 
Um, yeah, I I don't know. It's I usually get my tea roasted more than I do like sweetened. But yes, um, my tea, my tea. Oh, oh, yes, I I'm remembering now. The local place right around my pizzeria, around the corner. They make the best tea. It's so good. It's homemade, fresh brewed. It's it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I think we went into that one one dimension. What was it? Um, I had the tea there. It was good. It was it was in this like very bright, v uh, bright, vibrant, colorful place. Um, I think yeah, the chai tea, chai tea. That was what it's called. It was good. I, I'm not even going to do this right now. What? What did I say something wrong? Here's a question from random idiot lol. For Bonnie, have you tried taping the banana to a wall in an art museum? Oh, you gave me a good idea. Freddy, get me a banana. If you guys see a banana taped in an art museum, you know who made it. Here's a question from Rusty Vol, uh, I68. Can you do another cooking with Chica part, please? Yes, I want to do one around the holidays. I want to like bake something. That'd be fun. I'll try doing that and try squeezing that in. Yay! Here's three questions from Keegan Parker. Hey, Nightmare Foxy, is there a reason for why your voice changes? P.S. You're my favorite FNAF character. Oh, dang, a question for me, all right. Hi, uh, well, you see, uh, my voice has changed a lot over the years, because uh, we can never really think of anything super, you know, creative or unique for me. Uh, it just never really worked out like that. Um, but then we kind of settled on this, like, weird Cleveland Brown impression, and, and it's kind of evolved a little bit to its own thing. Um, but yeah, I think I started off with like a generic like evil villain voice and then I became British and then I became Cleveland Brown around season four and it's just kind of stuck ever since so Yeah No, 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 no That was an interesting force of gravity anyways to the Fazbear's if you did what Glitchtrap did to become a god What would you do? I, I guess we'll just Whoever wants to answer can do that, I guess. I guess I'll start. Uh, you know, if I become, become a god, uh, I would just kick everyone out of my house. Or at least all the people I don't know, like, who the hell's this guy? Hey. Get out of my house. No. See, I can't do that. Oh, if I was a god, I would take Bon Bon. Hi. And clone her 45 gajillion times and then make a giant, like, mecha of Bon Bon stacked on top of each other. That's scary. Well, if uh, I was a god, um, I would grow legs and a body and be big, and then I could beat him up. I want to be like a little taller than him. Hey, self-healing. I think you can tell why. Oh, well, uh, I, uh, I am kind of already the keeper of color slash keeper of life, so I, I, I feel like I kind of already fall under the category of god. But I guess if I could do anything, get my friend's powers back. I think, I think they miss them a little bit. Oh, and of course, Revive Greg, you know. I think he earned it. Why don't you just revive him, by the way? Well, he's a robot, so he was never living in the first place. So I can't really bring him back to life. Oh. Huh. Well, there's a tidbit of lore why his his death isn't just AS6 Machina. Okay, um, this got a little somber. Uh, goodbye. Question three to Nightmare Bonnie. This is more of a suggestion, but Bonnie used a cloning machine once. Why don't you make a cloning machine and use the DNA of the most strongest animatronics to make a monster that will be, you know, loyal to you in the nightmares only, and then she clone that monster to make an entire army. Ow! Okay, good, she's knocked out. Listen here, Keegan Parker. I like the way you think. My business email is right on screen. Please, please, please contact me and uh, I will uh, get you a part-time assistant manager job. But however, you will be an unpaid intern, so get ready for that. Although you have no choice because uh, Nightmare Fox is your favorite FNAF character and he told you to do it. Ah, uh, hey guy. Please don't actually email the fake email. If there's a way to make 555 equivalent emails, like phone numbers, how they use for, like, fake phone numbers in fiction, I I'm gonna do that. But if not, then this entire bit will be ruined because I don't want people to just email a random email thinking that it's actually going to be me when I just, I, just, I just came up with some random bullshit. Oh, uh, what happened? What are we doing? Oh, right, the Q&A. Uh, this next question comes from South Park Clips 099. Question one for Foxy. Is being a pirate a hobby or a career for you? I'd qualify it more as a hobby, just something I do every once in a while. It's kind of more of my culture and heritage than anything. So, you know, I... Uh, don't really delve into pirate stuff a whole lot unless I feel it's possible, like I can explore that part of myself. Um, but yeah, I would call it a hobby. I do it when I feel like it. I want to stay for this next one. Huh? Oh. Question two. Freddy, out of everyone you know, who's the most likely to commit murder? Huh. Well... Okay, if I had to think about my main friend group... Carl wouldn't do it. That'd be too obvious. 
Golden Freddy, I think, is too already powerful. I feel like he's very responsible with that kind of thing. You're, you have too much anger. Bonnie's too stupid. Chica, Chica, she's too quiet. She, she would definitely do it, I think, out of anybody. Dude, her entire family just got eaten, according to that one question. That gives her all the more reason to start killing people! Anyways, next question. Here's a question from Sarah Lachimi. Or Sarah Lachmi? I don't know. Hey, Springtrap, what do you think of your FNAF lore? You know, learning that I'm actually possessed by a serial killer that murdered a bunch of children is not exactly a fun thing. Uh, I'm very happy that I, that doesn't seem to be the case in this world, right? No, yeah, you're just you're just a character. Good. Nah, yeah, but that's uh, that's kind of scary, you know? The rotting corpse on my inside's not great. This is not a corpse, by the way. This is just my face. My face just has its flesh burned off. I, it's not something underneath. So yeah, that kind of that kind of sucks, and especially with the multiversal travel. I learned how screwed up this guy can be in like every dimension that's not my own. Here's two questions from Ink Tunes 1993. Freddy, how did it feel to go to space? Oh, uh, did we did we do that? I I don't know actually. I think maybe they're referring to Freddy in space too, or Freddy in space in general. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I, I didn't do that. That was like an actor that looked like me. So, like CGI or whatever. But no, I, I mean, I imagine it'd be cool. I, did we go to space? Oh, wait. Did you, did you fly to space in the firework? Oh, right. The firework. No, I did not get to space. No, I, I only got to like maybe 300 feet in the air and then I exploded. I did not make it to space, but it would have been cool. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Bonnie, is your diet still the same? You know, with the pizza, gummy worms, sprinkles, and sometimes cupcakes? Oh, yes, of course. It's a very strict diet. It's how I get my muscles. <clears throat> no, yeah, but uh, my diet's pretty much the same. Sometimes I substitute some rutabaga in there, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty much the same. That's such an oddly specific thing to substitute. How long does it take to make a custom plush? Again, it's about the complexity. I'd say for like the average custom, it takes about two hours, but especially things like the Afton amalgamation, that thing took like a month probably. Obviously that work was on and off, but yeah, I, the average custom takes around two to three hours depending on complexity. Here's a question from Digigames 8652. Do you take sewing class to make your plushies and custom plushies? Uh, I actually don't know if a sewing class exists, but uh, no, I don't. I, I, as I stated earlier, I am felt and hot glue all the way. But uh, I imagine sewing isn't, too easy. I mean, I've done it before, but it's just not a preference for me. Uh, I would recommend though, if you're if you're gonna sew, learn how to use a sewing machine. That's just so much faster. Here's a question from Doors Guy YT. Have you ever made Pebby Plush videos? Been looking forward to them. Y you know, I just. I'm sorry. You know, I, I I've thought about it. I just the thought just plagues my mind. I, I just, just I, I, it's just so terrifying. It it's what makes it. All the more unsettling is it's characters you know, too. This next one is from J Dave Iro 2898 for Bonnie. What's your IQ? Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm finishing up an IQ test right now. Um, the square goes in a circle. Right, let's see. What? Seven? That can't be right! I am a mature adult! There's your answer for that. It's it's seven. Here's a question from Quill Zinkwell. I've been wondering this since Detached 3. Which SO crew are we following? Gender Bent Bon Bon or Dead Bon Bon? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm actually the second Bon Bon. I guess Gender Bent Bon Bon. Uh, the first Bon Bon died, you know, so I'm just here to replace him. It's a little screwed up now that I think about it, but I don't like to think about it. You're my emotional support friend. I can't lose you. Yeah. So, uh, have fun with that information. That's canon. Or whatever the canon thing is. I don't know, I'm just trying to learn everything around here. Here's a question from Walter Travel 6257 Freddy, are you aware that you're a plush made by a company that is being used by an individual who creates content for the internet, which means you are a fictitious character for a plush series and in fact, are not a real person? Wait, 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 I mean, wait. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing this Q&A, so yeah. Okay, bye. Here's one from Bonx958. What made you want to do this FNAF plush gig? Security, Security. gig. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, um... 
I don't know. I liked plush videos a lot, and I made them, and then FNAF showed up, and I was like, ooh, FNAF! And then I, like, I actually, there actually are some old, old uh, FNAF videos that I made that weren't, like, actually with FNAF plushies. I just take a bunch of generic animal plushies and throw some paper-made props on them and pretend they're FNAF characters. Um, the Super Mario bloopers episode from that time is a definitely a big showing of that. But yeah, and then I got the Sanchi plushies for Christmas of 2015, and that was when the series started. From FNAF World Plush, is Eleanor and Eclipse the new villains for season six? Oh, uh, well, we are two of the villains from season six. Uh, and you got you know, those guys over there. I already told all of you, I do not consider myself to be a villain. And that's what they all say. However, when it comes to certain people, I cannot lie and say that I enjoy their suffering. I guess that would classify me as a villain. Yeah, and that's not even to mention the other arc. Oh, uh, hello. Hi. Um, yeah. What am I doing here? Uh, well, uh, villain is a strong word. However, I like to rule over my multiverse with an iron fist, so... Do what you will with that, I guess. Goodbye. You didn't even do the scary voice. What the hell? Hey, when are we going to see Ennard's group again? Right now. I think there's an episode in the pipeline with us right now. So yeah, you'll get to see us again soon. Hi. Guten Morgen. Do you guys count too? Uh, uh maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I imagine. I mean, I'm a part of this conspiracy theorist task force. So yes. Yeah. I don't really have anywhere else to go. So yeah. Sure. I'm like in here and with the toys sometimes. Well, there they are. I got it. Wait, Mr. Butters! Hi, everybody. Uh, I would like to make my statement in this Q&A, Mr. Butters. Uh, I'm here. I love you. All right, have a good day. Bye. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Here's a question from, or here's two questions from Monchrome 1456. For Clutch Trap, how are you? <laughs> um, hi. I'm dead, so not great, to be honest, but, um... I played chess with, uh, a lot of really bad people. So I'm assuming you're in hell? Yeah! But yeah, uh, I'm dead, so not great. But yeah, thanks for the question. <sighs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll see myself out. How did you make Agony? I imagine you're talking about the Afton Amalgamation. Uh, that plush took a lot of effort, actually. Um, all the limbs were made with a foam material because the stuffing just wouldn't substantially like hold it up as much as something like foam would. Uh, and then I used a lot of uh, kind of metal like wires inside the limbs to make them bendable and a little bit more like malleable. Uh, just a crap ton of different like felt I just stuck on it and like just kind of like over time just layered on top of it until it kind of made something, you know, that looked like the, the 3D model that I believe Alexis made, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of making it look like that. Kind of like a, almost like a scrap, like a newspaper thing. Like, I don't know what you call it, the, to put up the name for it. You put all the different pieces of newspaper together and then you make a thing. That was kind of what I did, but yeah is that is a lot a long long process of just adding stuff onto it until it, it be formed here's a question from the boco man mi4yt for bonnie what is your favorite part of shark tail oh boy i'm just getting all the questions um my favorite part is where he goes nah, 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 nah. here's a question from casual butters who would you say does the FNAF plush is the best in your opinion, Sanchi, Funko, or U2's? Definitely Sanchi. I think Sanchi easily has the highest quality plushies. I do appreciate that Funko has such a diverse cast of characters. Um, and I think U2's is actually a pretty good substitute for collectors. However, I think if I could pick either Sanchi or U2's in terms of collector plushies, I would still pick Sanchi. But U2's make some silly little guys here and there, like, uh, like, um, uh... They're too far, but like these guys, the Sanchi, the, the sitting, the standing Chica and the first Vanny. I like these guys a lot. These are awesome. This question is from LBS or IBS. <laughs> I don't know. The, both of those are pretty weird. <laughs> LBS plush videos, three, two, two, five. New viewer, by the way, why is Pop Goes Candy and Springtrap not canon? They are? If you're referring to the FNAF movie trailer video where I said Springtrap's like, oh, this isn't canon because I'm here. It's because of the storyline, obviously, they're following wouldn't allow Springtrap to go back to his home dimension. 
Uh, they are canon, though. They are in the same, uh, storyline. Just, I mean, they're in a different storyline. However, it's still the same shared multiverse, and they will converge once they end, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. Here's some questions from Fred Bears. Question for Fred Bear. What happened to the glitch world thing in the season 5 finale? Did it just get deleted, or does it have all the giant holes in the ground still? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, glitch Trap effectively wiped away the flip side. Uh, so unfortunately, no one is allowed to enter or exit. Uh, his decay of the area, I think, just completely broke it down. I should give Old Man Consequences a call. I think that was like his house. Question for me. Will there be any more villains introduced to the series? Uh, well, when you answered this question, I believe it was before the Mimic episode released, but I believe the Mimic is the last new antagonist in the series. Uh, there will be some smaller term antagonists, obviously, like you have the Epper episode by Antagonist, and there are some that will technically be ongoing, but not main villains. So yes, you kind of have your crew of main villains right there. Here's a question from the Dinosaurian926. For Monty, why do you have a Russian accent? Oh, uh, because I was born there. I was born and raised in Mother Russia, and that is where I reside from. Um, Fazbear Hills is kind of questionably in every country of the world, but also not. So, yeah, um, that is why I have a Russian accent. The dusting fields are kind of connected to Russia. I don't- how does the world work? Whatever the plot calls for. Mm, that makes sense. I don't know why you're asking me this question when Nightmare Bunny also has a Russian accent, but whatever. I'm tired, I'm going to go now. And there you go. Here's a question from Anthony Blevins, 6726. When is the Afton Movie 3 coming out? Um, hey buddy, I, I hate to tell you this, but, uh, did, uh, <laughs> this, this is the last part. <laughs> There's only two, there is no part three. It ended, I don't know if maybe you didn't see the credits at the end of part two, but yeah, that, that's it, but, um, oh, the after credits story. If you are wondering where the story goes from there, obviously there's season six, but, uh, the after credit scene gets l continued in these three videos and a sequential, you know, series of them, which are currently in production. Here's some questions from The Real Slushy. Have you ever heard of Homestuck? Yes, I have, from my friends. It's, uh, I know there's Car Cat, and there's the trolls, and uh, Toby Fox made music for it. And Vriska, and that's all I remember off the top of my head. For Toy Bonnie, what's your opinion on Withered Bonnie? Huh? Oh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have anything wrong with him. I mean, I, you seem pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I try not. I try to do my best. I do the news sometimes. Yeah, I see you on the on TV sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, we don't. We don't I, don't, I don't got any beef. We're chill. Maybe they're asking our alternate universe selves this question. Oh yeah, we should we should get them in here. Hold on, let's let's, let's go get them. Ah, uh, oh god, hi. What was going on? Ah, uh, oh, a uh, question for Toy Bonnie. Um, what is your opinion on Withered Bonnie? Uh, he's ugly, he's stupid, and I don't like him because he's he's old me, and I'm new me, and I'm so much better. Wow, you're kind of a dick. Well, there you go. There's both variations. So yeah, so I'm just so much better. Man, I'm really happy that we're chill. Same here. For Bonnie, do you like Foxy? Question mark, question mark, question mark, colon three. Oh yeah, Foxy's my bestest, bestest, bestest friend in the whole world. I love Foxy, he's awesome. Just like all my friends, like Freddy and Chica and Gone Freddy and all them. I love them so much, they're my best friends ever. I don't think he was asking it like that, Bonnie. How else would he be asking it? Well, Slushy, I think that is a no. You wanna go get ice cream? Actually, that would be nice. Yeah. Here's a question from Ask Foxy Anything. Is Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy actually dead? You know, if Glitchtrap can come back from the dead to answer this question, then I will too. Hi. Yeah, we're dead. We, we moved on, we passed on, we, we died. So, um, sorry. But, uh, we'll be in Genesis, though. So if you want to see more of us, we'll, we'll be there, right? Yeah, go watch, go watch Genesis when it comes out. Uh, we're gonna go to, uh, uh, heaven and, uh, do things. I'm gonna let you all interpret that. Is Freddy versus Canon? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Oh wait, I think you might be talking about the versus series I, I attempted to start and then I lost motivation for. This is a pattern.
Uh, no, it's not. It was supposed to be its own series, but I ended up kind of falling off of it after the first episode just because I, I lost interest. I'm so bad at keeping consistency, aren't I? When will Springtrap, Candy, and Pop Goes come back to Earth? Well, technically, we're exploring, like, a bunch of different Earths, so actually, we never left. If you're talking about my home world, then, uh, then they're going home. They don't need to come home. But yeah, I mean, once we've saved their families, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. Next step, unless we, like, you know, kill Scott, but yeah. Which will be interesting. He didn't hear that, right? I think he left already. Hi, I'm Foxy. N no, you're not. I'm Foxy. You can't be Foxy, because you're not me. What are you trying? Are you some kind of imposter? Trying to steal my identity? I'll have you know I have lawyers, bucko! Lawyers! Here's a question from 8-Bit Slushy. What other horror games do you want to see on the big screen? Uh, well, I've never been particularly interested in a whole lot of horror games for cinema. I think out of all of them, I think the only one I'd really want to see is Bendy. Just because I think they should do some really cool stuff with like a live action animated hybrid movie, uh, thinking like Looney Tunes back in action, kind of. I think that kind of movie would be really cool, and especially character dynamics like Bendy and Audrey's, I think that, or I guess Ink Demon and Audrey's, I think it would be really, really cool. But yeah, Dark Revival made me really interested in the lore again, and I think, I think it'd be cool if it was adapted to the big screen, because it's interesting. Other than that, nah, can't really, can't really think of anything. Here's two questions from Calvin Wilkes. Calvin Wilkes, 7602. How old are the characters in Invade the Plushverse? I am 22. I'm 12. I am actually also 22. I am also 22. I'm an indeterminate age, but uh, if you're talking about the fact that I am a doll that came alive in 2019 or 2018, I am about four or five. In people years, I'm about four, but if you're talking about my awesome demon snail years, I am immortal, indefinite, and I am infinity. Uh, physically, I'm about five or four or five, but in, you know, like, uh, like, mentally, I'm also 22. I'm the same age as that guy. I am 32. I'm 30. I'm the ripe age of five. I'm two. My third birthday soon. So, yeah, there you go. There's all the main characters' ages. Oh, here's one for me. Into the plush first, Travis. Do you have a crush on Luna? Uh, no. No. We are we are simply just friends. That's it. Just good friends. Hmm. Well, he answered that question with Stern. Yeah. Good friends. I don't like that you're this close to me when you're saying that. I think it's to be determined. Well, that was all their questions. Continuing on. Here's some questions from some YouTube person, 4419. What made you want to start making videos? Plush fears specifically. As I stated earlier, a lot of my inspirations, but yeah, I don't know. I think I just like picked up my plushies and I always made fun adventures with them in my room. So I was like, why can't I just record myself doing that? It'd be fun. Who's your least favorite and most favorite character to voice? Well, I already said my favorites, but least favorite, probably Balloon Boy. It's not because I like don't like voicing him, but it's just really hard to pull off the voice because you kind of have to do this weird prepubescent thing and certain lines don't deliver correctly and it just sounds really weird. I think I've honed it in better as of recent, but yeah. Three, if you stop making FNAF videos, which series would take over the channel? A different FNAF series? <laughs> no, but like, yeah, it, a lot of my core audience just comes through FNAF, so I wouldn't really want to stop making a FNAF series altogether, but yeah, I don't know, probably something I have more passion for if it's not FNAF, like maybe Sonic or something, because I think there's a lot of potential there, but I just haven't quite hit it yet. Here's some questions from Blue Lightning Songs. One, are you a fan of the Transformers? Uh, no, but I did like them a lot when I was younger and Bumblebee was always my favorite. Uh, are you a fan of Daft Punk? Also no. <laughs> For Chica, did you know a chicken's a direct descendant of dinosaurs? Wait, really? Uh, I think that's actually true. Well, all right. Hey, you know that one person that killed my family? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find all my dinosaur buddies and we're gonna kill you. Okay, you go conspire your evil thoughts over there. I'm telling you, I'm onto something about that whole murdering someone thing, I'm telling you. Here's some questions from bbkx 8 We For Fun Time Freddy, what do you think about Batman's Kindergarten? Oh, uh, the slide was very fun. I loved that place. Uh, you know, it was cool, but you know, we did almost die to the teachers, but the actual building itself was very cool. It was like a weird big warehouse, but uh, yeah. This question was for me, not for you, Buster. But yeah, it was enjoyable. I hope those guys are all in jail, though, because they did try to murder us. For me, you are one of the best people I've ever watched. How did you do it? Aw, thank you. Um, I don't know. I just try to be a myself, making my silly little videos with my silly little brain. And, you know, it just, it just, it just is, it's just my passion. My pat, my passion project. That's why I'm going to go be a creative in, 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 just in the entertainment industry. I want to do, I want to do silly dances for people. For Music Man, why are you a spider? Oh, you see, BB. 
Um, one day, a mother spider and a father spider, which were my parents, got really, really happy. And then they kissed a lot and smacked each other in the face. And then, me happened, and a lot of my brothers and sisters. I don't know where they're at, though. I kinda got just dispersed in the world and made my own, but yeah. That is how that, is how that happened. I didn't- I don't think we needed that- that detailed of a description. You, you could have just said I, I was born that way, like how, how Auntie did. Well, they asked why, not- I guess they didn't ask how. Cause I was born that way! Here's a question from Jonathan Rawls, 6140. Will you make another Pikmin video to celebrate Pikmin 4's release? Uh, I did! I think this actually comment was actually made before the Ice the Lemonade Stand episode, but yes! I made one. And I really, really, really want to do a Glove Pikmin episode. But that probably won't be for a while, but hopefully it'll show up one day. You all watch it, because it's it'll be a fun video. But thank you guys so much for the support on all the Pikmin stuff. It's so nice to see people really liking those videos, even if I don't do them often. I try to do them sparingly so I don't, like, milk them to death and then they become, like, stale, but yeah. It, thank you. Here's a question from Cody991. Why the f*** are you so evil, Vanny? Well, dang, you didn't have to say all that. Well, I don't really consider myself evil anymore. I, I'm just kind of, you know, here. Trying to do my best every day, but I guess when I was evil, uh, mental trauma? Glitch trap manipulated me? Kind of like how a lot of the glitch trap underlings were evil. It's because they were all manipulated. I love being traumatized. There's that. At least she's powering through it. Here's a question from Illusion Films. Will you ever move to SFM permanently? Um, I've honestly thought about doing an animated series for quite a while, especially one based off of FNAF. So, you never know, maybe we will see a bunch of animation content here one day, but yeah, that 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 was always- that has been a thought in my brain. Uh, permanently? I don't know. It'll just be whatever my brain decides to make. Here's a question from Seal Films 1983 Has Rock Pikmin ever played the GameCube? Oh, uh, thank you, um, for the question. Uh, I- I- I don't- I don't know what a GameCube is, so, no. Uh, it's- it's a video game- it's a video game console. Oh, what's a video game? We have a lot to teach him. These next three questions are from Caroline Salamanca. For Bonnie, are you happy that you got the new movie coming out before Halloween? Oh, yes, 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 I love holidays. I love holidays, and Halloween's awesome. Even my favorite ones are Easter and Christmas, but Halloween's cool too, and it's really neat that it's releasing for the holiday, because I love holidays and special occasions. It's awesome! So, yeah. Here's one for Cuphead. Is the devil gonna get your soul soon because it could be bad? Oh, uh, no, I, I, I hope not. Dang, that would suck. That would be a big dang diddle on diddle on bad thing. Uh, you know, we try- we actively trying our best to prevent something like that from happening, so, no. Alright, my soul's not gonna get taken, it's gonna be mine forever. And ever. Cause the devil's stinky and bad, and I don't like him. But yeah. Ooh, here's one for me. Alice, do you still be a ghost, even when not hunted by the devil's goons? I feel like this is more for the Cuphead show lore and not for my actual or actual series. Yeah, but uh, I guess give it an answer anyway. Uh, well, I can turn to a ghost whenever I want. However, I am in a physical body right now. It's just it's just a thing I can do. You know, it's 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 cool. It's just like a like a like a woo. But uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't feel like grabbing the, the ghost chalice plushie. <laughs> but thanks for the questions. Let's go back into our Cuphead corner. Questions from Carlos Morno, EJ, 5ZM. I hate these YouTube ads. God, it just makes all the usernames so complicated. What's Sun and Moon favorite snack or food? Ooh, uh, I'm a very big popcorn fan. Uh, I actually really like it when you can put the little M&Ms on top of the popcorn. It's very, very good. I'm a fruit snacks gal. I love fruit snacks. Gummies, fruit snacks, just anything of the sort. It's awesome. Maybe you should sit down and have gummy worms with Bonnie sometime. That'd be kind of fun. Here's a question for challenge0954. How do I make good plush videos on mobile? Okay, so on mobile, I would rec- I mean, heck, I- I record with an iPad, so iPad, iPhone, whatever. Get a decent camera, or even Androids. I'm sure there's Androids out there with decent cameras, even if it's like this a lot of the time. But yeah, um, however, if you are- just- just record. Just record yourself, you know, make your funny skit, do all that. And, uh, like I said, Video Leap is the- probably the best, uh, editor for mobile. However, if you can't afford Video Leap for whatever reason, I would recommend iMovie. It's completely free. Uh, it's a very good starting editor. And, you know, yeah, it's- it's- it's a good- it's a good place to start. But yeah. Oh, and I guess if you're not on iPhone, I really don't know. I think there's something called CapCut. I think that- I think that that's on mobile for Android. So, yeah, use CapCut if you can. Use iMovie or Video Leap. Here's some questions from your eight. 
your your B oh your BFF. Here's some questions for your BFF. Do you plan on making revids like Sly Pie? Um, I guess I think it's remake videos. I did actually remake my very first episode a couple years back, but uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll go remake some of my best um my best my best hitters for for fun one day. But at the moment, no. But you know, it might maybe maybe someday. Question two for Bonnie. Can you bring Wither Bonnie and sing the Doc and Doobridge Schmertz I found a brand new best friend song? Ah, ah, what are we doing? Singing the only the best bit ever. Uh, look, you see the TV? Oh, yeah. Th that's karaoke. Uh, you're the, you're blue. I'm red. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Do you want some rice pudding? No, that's gross. That was a test, almond brittle. Ooh, I love it the most. Me too. Do you collect coins? Yeah, just in case. Bending, Bending machines become, become the dominant, dominant race. race. I've been alone all these years. With my irrational fears. Hey, I'm just saying that vending machine thing is gonna happen. And, and now, now before, before me, me, I see. With someone, someone with whom I agree. I found a brand new best friend. And it's me. I found a brand new best friend. And it's me. That was good. That was great. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the question. That was fun. Let's go. Whee! Questions from Because Plush Stories 3776. I really don't know if that's what the BC stands for. I apologize. Question one, which Pokemon would you kill? Uh, I don't know. Probably something stupid that wouldn't feel it. Like, maybe like, maybe like Clefki? Actually, Ghastly, because because if I kill it, then it, it, it can't die because it's a ghost. Question two, who would win in a fight? Nightmare or you with a gun? Okay, Nightmare, you want to test that theory? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm okay. I, I'll pass on that one. Come on, I'll bring you back to life. Ow! Oh! Why? What? The question demanded of it. Oh, that just hurt. I'm out of here, man. Well, I mean, I guess I won, so yeah, me with a gun. I don't know, dude, I'm eating mangoes and laughing. Good for you. Here's a couple questions from Aft the Hedgehog. For Fredbear, how did you fell, and what happened after the bite of 83? I don't really know what you mean by how did I fell. And, uh, the bite of 83, I, I, I didn't bite a kid. That was the animatronic. I'm Henry, so I'm not Fredbear. However, I appreciate your question. That's just not, that's just not what happened. So, if I was the real Fredbear mascot, I would answer that, but I'm not. For Springtrap, how does it fell? Moving through the fanverse. Oh, that's supposed to be feel. Well, Fredbear wouldn't have been able to answer that anyway. But yeah, how did it feel moving through the fanverse? Oh, such a weird headache nightmare of just colors and flashing and just, oh, I saw so many Five Nights at Freddy's related things. Just, it sucked. It wasn't fun. It was bad. It sucked. Um, I would not recommend traveling rapidly through the multiverse. I, be I believe, I believe we, we copied that scene from Multiverse of Madness, so... Yeah, it, it wasn't fun. Don't tell them where I copy things, stop! From at Simonix. Hi, Sam. Where's Skibbity Toilet? There. There he is. You're never getting an episode of him. I will, I will, I will die before that happens. Here's a question from probably Ari. Hi, Esme. A little bit of generic book, and I think it was a good idea to get it done, and I can get it done before I got it. I think it's a good idea to do it for the next time I get it done, and then I can get it done, and I can get it done, and then 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 I can get it done. What? This is a question from Super Laser. Hi, Laser. Hi, Thank you. Hi. Hi. Why? What do you want? A medal? You want a cookie? Why? Why? You're trying to interrupt my Q&A. My Q&A for your stupid hi. Get out. It's a question from Baba Booey 6836 Do you like money? I mean, I like the things you can get with money. And, you know, in, in, in the world we live in, we kind of need it. So, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I mean, I don't like it, per se, but I, I need it, so I, I kind of have to deal with it. It's, it's, it's all right. Are you trying to figure out if I'm, like, a capitalist or something? Here's a question from Official Dan Reviews. What is your favorite FNAF game and why? FNAF 3! FNAF 3 will always be my favorite. I love FNAF 3. I think Springtrap is so freaking cool. I really like the Phantoms despite their lack of popularity. I think the gameplay loop is really fun. It's honestly my favorite of the original FNAF games to play. I just love fending off Springtrap. I think it's a really cool concept and idea for like this kind of moving like machine of a character that always like doesn't like just doesn't have a set path. He just goes wherever. And I think that the combating like the different hallucinations and things are really cool. The atmosphere of FNAF 3 is my favorite. It's so killer. I love like the green and the hauntedness and the sounds. It's just so cool and awesome. The graphics are awesome. I love FNAF 3. It's my favorite one. I'm tired of people saying it's the worst one because it's my favorite. That got a little that got a little little emotional. I apologize. From Binary522. Is Gamma going to be in your Sonic series? You're just gonna stay dead. Uh well Gamma didn't 
I don't think Gamma died canonically in my series, but it would be cool to put him in the series one day. Maybe I'll do an episode about him. My personal headcanon is that the little birdie in Sonic Prime is Gamma, so yeah. Here's a question from a Red Plush Bear Productions official. Question for, I think that's supposed to be Scorch. How do you feel getting beaten by Shadow Freddy? Oh, um, well, I mean, it, it wasn't great. It definitely didn't feel good, but I will say, uh, it definitely helped me learn and grow as a person. So, you know, I, I'm better off now. Uh, and my time with Nightfall has been great. Um, I, I like her a lot. She's, she's a very good friend. And, um, yeah, I think I will spend the rest of my days in, in, in harmony and peace. Which is all I really want. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Um, also, to all the people asking if I'm coming back, my, my story's over. I'm at peace. I, I'm not coming back. Sorry, guys. But um, I appreciate that you all miss me, though. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely an interesting period of the FNAF series, so bye. Here's a question from Jake the Hedgehog 9415 Question for Cuphead. Do you and Chalice have a Mickey and Minnie relationship, or are you guys like sister and brother? I would definitely say we got more of a sister brother thing going on. I think dating it would just be weird. Yeah, especially considering these guys are children and I'm technically just like a child that's been immortal for a long, long time. Uh, no, that'd be a little weird. Yeah, exactly. Sorry you didn't get any questions, Bugsy. Yeah, it's okay. I'm happy just to be here. Nah, we're just, we're just good old sibs. My stupid younger brothers. I hate you. Here's questions from Frank J. Mogul Tree 6254. Will you ever make plushies and mascot costumes from Ruin or Fazbear Frights and Tales from the Beats Plex? Well, uh, yeah, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. I know Tiger Rock is going to be in an upcoming episode along with the Bobby Dots, so maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. The Ruin characters probably not. Like I said, I'm not really going to make any Ruin characters for my series just because it doesn't really fit the story. However, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or at least any more Ruin characters, but yeah. Uh, potentially. Quest for Bonnie. Why'd they give you the trigger crystal? A Mangled Mangle is my all-time favorite episode. I, uh, I don't really remember that. It was a really long time ago, but, uh, it's probably needed for the story. But yeah, I would I would not get the sugar crystal again because it made me feel funny afterwards, and I think I puked a lot. Why are you so awesome? You're missing. Oh well, thank you. Well, uh, God, it's so much. Thank you guys. I know. Thank you. I'm really sorry for adding a fourth question, but I'm dying to know who's the kid in the invasion video. Oh yes, I've been actually wanting to talk about this for a while. Uh, the story slightly changed since then, but that was actually supposed to be Luna, or a very very early version of Luna. Um, but yeah. That is, that is actually Luna. That is what that kid is. But, uh, I mean, they're technically not a kid in the actual show. They're an adult. But, yeah, that, that was technically a very early version of Luna once I retconned it slightly and changed up her story a little bit. But, yes, canonically, that is supposed to be Luna. Just kind of pretend that they're an adult and not more resembling a kid in the video. Here's a question from Creator Madness. Question, what's your favorite FNAF character in plush form? I might be biased, but it's definitely these two. Here's a question from Benny Blue Bear. Twisted Foxy, can you say the cheese? Ah, you took me out of video for a long, long time. I did not be in video for a long, long time. But yes, I will say it's for my fan, my friend fan of Benny Blue Bear. I love the cheese, the cheese, and the cheese. He's been gobbling around ever since season three. Actually, no, we had that one episode in season four, I forgot. Here's one from LWRJA. LW. Um, screw it. No, thank you. There's a question from this person. Can you watch your first video without cringing? I think they're a product of the time, so probably, but there are definitely videos I look back and I'm like, Ugh. maybe my first video? I think, I think, I think my first video I, I might, I might be okay with it. However, there, there is a lot of times where I think back then I didn't know how to cut footage, so I would just put the camera down and be like, technical difficulty, setting up the next shot, and then I'd, and then I'd lift the camera up and keep recording, but yeah, that, outside of that era, that was... The Tails Doll 2920. Bonnie, I dare you to punch Foxy in the face. Ah! I didn't think you were actually gonna do it. You had that whole thing about how you were like my friend and you loved me. What? The question asked me to. Well, that was kind of an interesting question to end on. That's every question I compiled. I apologize if I didn't get the chance to answer your question. But, uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much for uh, this. You know, I, this is actually a lot of fun. Uh, but, yeah, I apologize if I didn't get a chance to answer your questions, but... You know, what can you do? I, I, there was like 500 comments. I was not going to be able to get everybody. And look how long this video is. Like, I already spent this much time answering these ones. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Uh, and, you know, expect more content coming in the future. Um. Peace.